that was rough. Um, you know, trigger warning for those. I did do self harm. I did. Mm-hmm. I did attempt suicide at the age of twelve. I was a sixth grader. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, my. I remember being at Thanksgiving dinner, and um, you know, my aunt. Um, and, and I have two aunts uh, on my mom's side, and I remember, you know, whole families there at my grandma's house, and she was like, "Oh, so and I was a sixth grader, right? So I hear you like to to dress in women's clothing. That's what you want to announce to the entire uh, family." And I was mortified, and and yeah. just look around in the room, and and the faces of my mom, my dad, my aunts and uncles, my my cousins, and I just I wanted to die. And mm-hmm. you know, again, this is pre-internet, right? Mm-hmm. Like. I had no role models. There was nobody, there was no center with a support group. Like my no out, no outlet. No, no, no whatsoever. Outlet. I yeah. mean, the only representation I saw was like sex worker number two in the local tri- crime drama. Like, I'm like, oh, they die early. That's me. And so, you know, or Maury Povich should have a right. show. And I'm like, there's me. And and then they all laugh. Yeah. And, boo. and yeah. so that was Jerry Springer and Maury Povich. I mean, it was, was an oddity, a freak. Uh, yeah. And yeah. we were, you know. Um, you know, looking at Ace Ventura, um, the car- we were laughed at. Oh, yeah. It, it, people were puking. Ace Ventura, it's a, you know, was puking and using a plunger because he'd kissed a trans woman. Mm-hmm. And, and so, you know, that's what, that was my experience growing up. So, like, it wasn't a healthy experience growing mm-hmm. up. Now, my parents loved me, right? Mm-hmm. But, you know, my, my parents' experience was, you know, after my suicide attempt, they sent me to Spearville, Kansas, which was a... Mm-hmm. Public old, school, I, I was a you? seventh grader. I was 13. Oh, okay. So, you know, they sent me from the large school district, uh, the 6A school district to a small 1A school district. It's a strong Catholic community. And that- 1A, me. for yeah, the one, listeners, like that's like, yeah, like yeah. You, may, you may graduate with a class of 20 to 40. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's yeah. exactly right. So so then here's me walking into to that environment. And I was a really good athlete. So that was my saving grace. And that's what I leaned on. Um, but it was, it was a challenge, right? Cause I fought, I I fought, I still, to this day, I fight suicidal ideation every single day, every day. I've just learned to ride the waves. I've just learned to, cause it's, it's almost 30 years, uh, you know, coming up here this fall, 30 years since I attempted suicide. Mm. And so, but it's, it's not me. It's the world and the way that, that I'm perceived. It's the way Mm. I, you know, I don't have passing privilege. There is no stealth to me. I stick out like a goddamn cow, purple cow in a field of black and white cows. Like, you know, it's like where's Walda trans edition. It's it's not a good good board game. It yeah, like, like, you know, yeah, like I think you know, yeah. what's it like there in in where like what's the area like? You know, well, I live in Goodland now. We have three right? yeah, we have three stoplights, we need one. And, you know, like <laughs> It is, it is not, it's not the place that I would recommend being different, right? Right. Like everyone's like, be brave, be different, be, be strong and be yourself, but not that kind of brave and strong and authentic. That's just way too far. Get back in your box. Right. Right. So it's, it's tough, right? Yeah. So like I, I'm a chiropractor. Um, that's my, you know, I went off right. to uh, Kansas State University, um, got my biology degree, went off to Palmer College of Chiropractic in Davenport, Iowa. Again, always fighting this like I had wanted to like I went to boy scout camp at Spanish Peak Scout Ranch which is near Walsenburg about an hour away from Trinidad Colorado which was the sex change capital of the world and and Dr. Stanley Biber was down there so everyone else was worried about merit badges all I wanted to do was catch a, a, a you know 1990s version of an uber down to the sex change capital of the world and get my stuff fixed yeah. that's all like but that's a, that's how my brain worked at 14 yeah and 14 and 15 and that's all like you know because I knew I used to go to bed at night praying that when I woke up that God would make it right Ugh. like because because my software doesn't match my hardware right that like, I, I, my software doesn't match. that's a, that's good that is good I and like it, that. My software smart. doesn't match my hardware. Like, listen, this Mac update did not go the way it was supposed <laughs> to be. Like, it shipped way too early. Like, <laughs> somebody screwed up, I'm saying, right. the packaging. And, um, like, listen, the hardware was rearranged a little differently than it should have been. Um, my iOS runs female. What you gave me, not okay. Thank you very much. Um, I, I have too many doggles and USB ports and stuff like that. So, yeah. you know, it just didn't go so well, but, 
you know, and I've, and, and it's, so it's been this constant journey since I was a child. And, and, you know, I remember, like, I remember in high school, and I was in this class called Health Careers. And, um, you know, this is when I first wanted to get on at the time was, was we called HRT, or, you know, and now we call gender affirming hormone therapy or cross sex hormone therapy. And I remember being a 17 year old, and that's all I wanted to do. And I remember like being in the pharmacy, you know, rotating, and I could see the the, the conjugated premarin estrogens, which by the way, doesn't do that. They don't do that. That's uh, that's not the bioidentical. That's the stuff that gives you strokes. Um, wait, wait, wait. You know, so what, what, what's that now? So it's, it's premarin, a conjugated estrogen. It's okay. what people used to be in the seventies and eighties. They used to prescribe that instead of estradiol, which is a bioidentical estrogen. And so, but the conjugated estrogen, which is what they got from like, um, you know, Marin P things like that. Um, um, they, they got, uh, uh, Mare P, um, so uh, like uh, like premarin, um, which is actually the the name of it, and and so conjugated estrogens is what they used to give, and so there was. Do so they give? Is that is that what what do they give now? For today they in- give estradiol, uh, estradiol which okay. is a bioidentical estrogen, okay. and, which is the same thing that you have going in, in well in anybody's uh, bloodstream, but okay. um, that's where you get the secondary sex characteristics. Like, listen, my first puberty sucked, but the second <laughs> one's been so much better. And okay. so, okay. but you know, like I can remember, like, that's what I wanted. Like, I want that. And so I mm-hmm. remember, you know, um, you know, I had approached at 14, I'd called area mental health and said, hey, you know, I called them after hours and said, like, listen, I'm a female, but everyone calls me male. And they're like, well, you need to come in during office hours and bring your parents and proof of insurance. We were broke. I lived in a mobile home. Like I, I had to, you know, like I didn't, we didn't have insurance on me. There was no such thing. So there was all these like ways of keeping me out. My access uh, was, wasn't there. And so you know, and then when I was in, in college at K-State, you know, I went to the health center and asked about gender affirming hormone therapies. And I got that. We don't do that here. And there was there was that kind of awkward look between me and physician as I was, a you know, a, a junior at K-State. I was 20 at the time. And, you know, and it wasn't like like reassuring, like, I see you. You know, I got a number for you. I got a guy or I got a girl, someone that could help me. It's like, can I help you with anything else? totally defeating like like it wasn't like no no dialogue just no, it was enough worst, enough of that so yeah. like listen i i felt like it was freak stay out that's how i felt i'm like oh, oh fantastic i'm oh. gonna be laughed about this later in the coffee shop and oh god in, uh, in the doc- doctor's lounge but you know so again i i i knew what that gatekeeping era felt like i uh-huh. knew what that you know and then then later it would it, and i fought and i thought i thought this every day of my life life because it's who I am right it's like if you're right-handed and I ask you to pick up a pen and write with your left hand and you just don't write as well Mm -hmm. and then you're like well it just doesn't feel the same you're right the world told me that I was left-handed when in reality I am a right-handed person it just feels right and that's it